Okay, so this is, I think, a fun one because they're DIYs. They they really don't blend in one category. These are actually the DIYs that I use on a daily basis. Most of these I even carry in my purse. They are definitely in my travel bag. There's actually more in my travel bag than just these, but I wanted to show you those that I faithfully always have mixed and I use all the time, where I use them and why I use them. So that's what I'm going to share tonight. So those that don't know me, I'm Barbara Cassidy and gosh, I look forward to sharing all this with you. So here's where I'm going to start um, is with animal sense. If you don't own animal sense, it's 24, 25 maybe. Anyway, it's less than $25. This isn't just for animals. It is probably one of my most favorite for anything um, skin related or minor cuts, any of that works just as good on humans as it does on your animals. I have a huge testimony with my husband on this. So if you don't own this product, you can use this in place of anything you would buy in the store. So what I do, now this product is super, they pack this in there so hard, and I'm not really even sure what oils are already in here. All I know is it's a miracle worker. So what we do is, oh, here it is. Um, this is what I carry all the time. And actually I have a smaller one that's this size that I have in my purse. But so you can see the difference, but that's okay because I'm gonna hand this one over to my daughter. So I take, this is just one of those snap lid type so it seals tightly so nothing will leak out. And I dig some of the animal scents out and just put it right into oops, the container as I make a mess. You all know I make a mess when I do DIYs, right? So what I'm going to add to this particular one, so this is why it's going to my, I always have it with me too, but my daughter needs some right now. So what I add to this is first Helia Crimson. It will stop almost instantly with a drop bleeding of any type. This is a, it's expensive, but you won't use it all that often where, you know, you'll run out like a lavender. So it's amazing, amazing oil. So I'm gonna add two drops because of the amount. Now y'all know I am not a person. I don't have patience when they run low. I'm not a person that measures very well. I just kind of guess estimate, there's two drops right there. But if I was using a smaller container, I'd probably just put one into it. Okay, so one drop of Helia Crimson. The next oil I'm gonna add is naturally lavender. Um, anything that you're trying to um, stop or seal up on your skin, lavender is always a good choice. So I'm gonna put two drops of lavender in there. I'm trying to stay compliant. I hope I do a good job. Um, then I just take and mix this. We have healed, no, I haven't healed. We have magically fixed and taken away the screams and the crying from grandbabies falling down and doing major knee scrapes from soccer, from baseball. I put it on their backs, our backs, when we've had a little bit too much sun. I'm just mixing it 
that's all I'm doing, y'all. So I've got in here, Animal Sense, Helia Crimson, and Lavender. Animal Sense all by itself is powerful, but I have just gotten to like in case of the need. This is why I carry it with me too. In case all of a sudden something happens, these little containers, this does not weigh anything. So this is something that's always with me and my daughter always has it with her too because of the kids. So, and I have the grandkids a lot. So I always like to have this handy. I don't know what you want to call it. I, the kids just call it Grammy. I need some of that scent stuff. So that's what it is. This is awesome guys. So that's one of my first favorites that I always have in my purse. My husband even carries it with him. So this is a big one. Next, I want to talk about um, this one here. Now this, you can see it's a little bit darker than this one. In here is rose ointment. Okay, but if you have this, I'm going to be real honest with you, you don't need this. It's, um, it's got rose in it, so it's got a few more expensive oils in it, but truthfully, this one honestly works as good as this one. This one falls under the skincare line, and I know it's because of what oils are in it. It's more expensive. Look at the difference in the bar, the jar. There's a huge price difference. So, you got Animal Sense? Do Animal Sense with this second one too. But the difference, you know, rose is a little bit darker. So, that is what is in here. This, <laughs> it goes absolutely everywhere with me. It's one thing I always carry, especially for what's going on when I fly. This is what I use when we travel. When I go into workout at Orange Theory, this has been used anytime I'm in a large group of people. This is what I use. So this is a mandatory must have for me all the time. What it is, is you take, I'm just going to continue to fill this one because these always need to be filled anyway. I again just take and pull out. This is also really packed in here tight. So you need something with a little bit of stability to take it out. So I'm going to feel like, like I said, I, this gets used almost every day currently. Okay, so now we're all the way filled on this. And then again, this is rose ointment is what I'm using. You can use animal scents. Okay, so into this, I'm going to add one drop of Exodus 2 and one drop of Egyptian gold. <sighs> These... If I get stuck on an island, give me Exodus 2. What is in Exodus 2 is myrrh, cassia, cinnamon bark, calamus, northern lights black spruce, hyssop, vetiver, and frankincense. This is loaded. The only thing that is not biblical in this oil is the vetiver and the Northern Lights Black Spruce. Powerful, powerful oil. What is in Egyptian gold? Listen to this. Frankincense, Idaho Grand Fur, Lavender, Myrrh, Hyssop, Northern Lights Black Spruce, Cedarwood, Vetiver, Rose, and cinnamon bark. Very, very similar. 
but there's a different couple of oils in both of them. Powerful combination. So what you do is you add one drop. That's all I add because these are so powerful. They've got high, high um, constituent oils in them. So Egyptian gold. Exodus has a security cap on it. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the cassia that's in this one. I'm not really sure why they put a childproof cap on this one. This one's thick, so it's always hard to get this one out. It's in there. Anytime there is myrrh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more on myrrh here in a little bit, but anytime there is myrrh in any of the oils, it has a tendency to gum up real fast. So this is an oil I do not want to waste. I'm gonna drip it off the side, so I'm just going to put it on. <laughs> Don't waste an oil, right? So, and I take and I mix this one also. Now, I'm not going to gross you out, I heard, but so when we're breathing in, where do we breathe in from? Our nose, right? So that is where this is going. Now, I, I don't use my fingers. I guess you could if you really wanted to, but I don't. So what I do, get all mixed up there. Okay. So, like I said, I hope it will gross you out. But what I do, and I carry Q-tips with me. I take a Q-tip. I put a little bit onto this Q-tip. So you can see here, let's see, see there's not a whole lot on there, um, not at all. But all I do is I rub it all on the inside of my nostril. So I've coated the inside of my nostril with the rose ointment, Exodus 2, and Egyptian gold. So because I have coated my nose, guess what? Nothing can get by. So what I'm breathing in, if somebody's got something I don't want, it's not going past that. So it's a great prevention, a great way to protect yourself out in public. Hey, I'll take this over a mask any day. I love this stuff. Um, like I said, I use it daily. Right now I'm using it daily, sometimes twice a day, depending on what, what if I'm going out and about. But amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing. The oils in it are just like crazy good. Okay, so the next one is, um, it's hereditary in my family to have dark circles under the eyes. It's my whole family, my aunts, my uncles. Um, it's, I don't know where, what nationality it comes from, but I'm like 90% Norwegian. So I don't know where it comes from. So I want to talk about what you can do for dark circles under your eyes. What I, and I use this daily. I use this every morning and every, well, actually I use it every morning and every night. When after I wash my face, this goes on underneath my eyes. I love this. This you have to be patient with. So it's not one of those that you start using it this month. You're going to start to really see results, which I can see the results in me. But it was probably, mine are pretty dark though, so it might be different for some people. It was about three months before I really noticed a really big difference with this, but when it when it starts, man, this stuff works really good. So this is another one I use twice a day. And again, this is a two milliliter bottle. This one's partly full, so I'm still gonna add to it because like I said, I use it daily anyway, so it doesn't matter if, um, uh-oh. I don't have that tool here to, there it is, okay. 
there's a tool you can have that will help take you take that roller bowl top off. Okay, so the normal recipe, the roller top bonnie, it's just the roller top. Oops. It's just the roller top ball that goes onto the two mil. Okay, so like I said, I normally, um, this is empty, but I'm still gonna go ahead and fill it with the identical oils that I, I would. So I'm gonna start with frankincense. So mark this down for a two mil. I am gonna add six drops of frankincense. We all know frankincense is just really, really good for our skin. Um, I don't think there's a Young Living product that is within the skincare area of Young Living that does not have our frankincense in it. Then I'm gonna be adding uh, four drops of Copaiba. If you're familiar with Copaiba, this one, think anything information on that order, so it's going to help with circulation. Copaiba mixed with Panaway and peppermint. Score with that, but Copaiba for the simple reason that it's really good for inflammation. Then I'm going to add four drops of carrot seed. Carrot seed is an oil that is good for a huge variety of specific skin care issues. So this is a really important ingredient that's going into this one. Look in your blue book and it'll give you a little bit more specifics on that. So I'm gonna add four drops of carrot seed. And cypress. Cypress, again, is extremely good for circulation, which that's really what all the dark circles are, right? It's where we, a lot of times, it's a sign that you have allergies. A lot of times, it's just lack of circulation. So all of these have really high circulatory oils. I love cypress. Cypress is a, just on a side note, here I go with my squirrels because I don't have a slide to keep me on track, but Cypress is, um, it will fall definitely into the line of the emotional oils. If um, you diffuse this a whole lot, sometimes you can bring up memories that you've forgotten. Cypress is a really good oil for so many different reasons. It's a reasonable oil. It's a tree oil. Any of your tree oils, you can always relate back to helping you with emotions. Okay, so we have um, six drops of Frank. Then we have the four drops of Copaiba, carrot seed, and cypress. Then to top this off, rather, I like to add to this. This one is, oh, I grab grapeseed oil. I normally add almond oil. That's okay, grapeseed oil is fine. So I'll top it off with, let's go to light, so now I don't have to put very much grapeseed oil in this one at all. And I will take and I'll snap the roller top back on. So now it's a roller ball. And you know, you don't shake oils to mix. All you do is rock it back and forth, go side to side, and that's more than sufficient. And this is ready to go. And again, this is where I put it. I put it underneath each eye, and then I just tap it in. You can see it's on there. And of course, you all know I can't smell, right? And I could never figure out because I do not necessarily put oils on me before I go into Orange Theory. 
all the coaches always they, they put me in a specific spot every time they like to put me at number four the reason is is because i'm always up where the coaches are because they said i smell so good <laughs> come to find out i think it's because of what i'm putting on with these products before i walk in that's where it's coming from but i can't smell so i'm clueless so okay so that is for your dark circles i've got oil all over me it's that grapeseed oil is essential oils aren't like that some of these um, additional products i'm adding are kind of oily all right so from there i want to this i use on a daily basis um there's such a variety that you can add into this. The reason I started doing this is because the Young Living hand and body lotions are super thick. And I like them thick. You don't use or need much of these lotions, but it's a pain to get them out. So what I started to do is combine and the lavender hand and body lotion with one of our massage oils. And I use this every night because, I don't know, I, I think it's a habit. I like my skin to have extra moisture before I go to bed. So I have a big one of these that I put into one of these pumps, but I like to travel with it because, you know, if you're flying, you, your hands dry out. Uh, right now we're washing our hands so much that Thieves soap doesn't dry us out as much, but we are doing so much more that um, I like to have this with me. And I definitely travel with this also. So again, this is super hard to get out of the container, which is why I started to do this. So I'll fill half Let's see how strong I am. Ah. Afraid if I take that cap off, I'll probably make a mess. But, let's see. See how thick it is? Oh, guys, I'm making a mess. There we go. All right, let me get all this extra cleaned off here. And I have extras of these bottles. Um, just tower y'all if you want some. Maybe this should be a make and take for Christmas. Okay, so I didn't get it quite halfway. So I put the lavender hand and body lotion into that. Okay, so from here, you can choose any of the massage oils. Sensation is a great one to use for this. You've got Sensation, you've got Cell Magic. This is for cellulite. You can use this one, <clears throat> or orthospore. That's what I'm gonna to use today because when I come out of Orange Theory, a lot of times I need the orthospore. So what I'll do is, oops, same amount, squirting all over the front of me. Gosh, I, I do make a mess. This is why I don't do many DIYs, guys, because I know how to make a great mess. Okay. So I've got the two of these, and if you can see, it's about 50-50. You don't have to be perfect again, but this is like so much easier. This one you really have to shake to combine them. Greasy. Doesn't take long to combine them. My hands. 
this is why I like this container, is because it's a pump and I can pump it. There we go. I can pump it right out onto my skin. And the combination of this, look how nice it rubs in. I, it didn't take anything at all to rub this in. I'm sure it smells fantastic. I have no clue. All I know is it feels wonderful. And it just depends on what you're actually looking for to do as to which of the massage oils you would want to use with it. If you don't have um, any of the more specialty ones, use V6. I prefer V6 over any of the grapeseed oils or the coconut oils or anything that you get on the market because I know the quality of what Young Living is putting in that bottle is far greater than an organic one I can buy at Whole Foods or at Sprouts. So I trust Young Living more than I trust what else I can get elsewhere. So hand and body lotion mixed with a massage oil. It is easier to use and I personally like the feel of it a lot. So there's my next one and again this is a daily one for me. I've also like I said I have a matter of fact I think the Cell Light Magic is already mixed. Yeah it is. This one's already got the hand and body lotion in it. I can show you. See? It's got the hand and body lotion already in it. So recycle, repurpose. Okay, so I carry that with me. My girls carry it with them too. So I don't know, my kids kind of do what I do, I guess. Okay, so because I like that so well, when it came to needing a body cream, again, the body creams are they're just they're so hard to get out of these containers so this is the genesis one now i chose to use this one just because i had it and this is what i normally use and y'all will have to tell me if there is a difference in i don't know I, I would assume this smells like lavender, but I don't have no clue what this one smells like. None whatsoever, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I didn't bring another one, but I take the same container and I fill half of it with Genesis. Now you could use whatever one. If you have lavender, gosh darn, use lavender. I'm just always afraid of smells because I don't know what it smells like okay so I'm a little bit more on the cautious side but so I what I do is I take and I fill half the bottle with the hand lotion hand and body lotion then because normally when I like a body cream it's because I pulled a muscle or I overextended a muscle um, a lot of times I'll use the CBD muscle rub, but a lot of times I, at night especially, again, I like that. I like the extra moisture when I go to bed at night for some reason. I add CBD. So to this, I will add probably two to three droppers of the CBD. This one here in particular is citrus. You can use any one of them. It does not matter which CBD oil you use. So the hand and body lotion to that, and you can tell the consistency you like, but I like about three droppers of CBD oil. And I buy the thousand milligram guys because I feel if I'm going to take it, I don't want the 500, I want the 1,000. So I always buy the 1,000 milligram. Three droppers to this container, and I'm getting CBD as well as my lotion, 
and it's much easier to apply the lotion, plus I'm getting the CBD. So it's just, I think, a great combination. Um, next, this one really isn't much of a DIY, but Vista, the insect repellent, There's nothing better on the market. There is nothing more effective on the market. The problem I have with it is how they packaged it. And I do know the reason why they packaged it. It's got the flip top on it. So you have to apply it that way. The reason Young Living did that is because of the essential oils in there. If people put it on their clothing, it could possibly stay in their clothing. So this way, if the hand apply it, it's a little bit better than spraying or anything like that. Well, to me, that's a pain. So what I've done, this also goes everywhere. All I did is repurpose a 15 mil bottle and I just pour the insect repellent into the repurposed bottle. I put a roller top on it and it is super easy to apply your insect repellent on the go. You can, I roll it across my ankles um, and I put it on my wrist, I put it on my neck and that's the only place I ever really have applied it because what I have noticed, at least for myself, since we've been using the oils, mosquitoes don't like me anymore. So they kind of stay away, but there's always, you know, when you were at the lake, when I go home to Minnesota, Trust me, I've got to have this. So this is a product I usually have somewhere near me, especially when traveling. But like I said, it's not a DIY, but it sure is a lot easier to apply the insect repellent with a roller top on top. So I wanted to share that one with you. And fresh breath. There's always one of these in my purse. So, Whoops, before I take it apart. This is about one mil, maybe one milliliter. And it's got a little spray top to the top. And what I do is I take, oh, I've got all that, that lotion on me, it feels good. <laughs> Mouthwash. Now, I don't know if you're using the mouthwash Personally, mine is 50-50. So I have another bottle of the mouthwash. This is 50% distilled water and 50% Thieves mouthwash. I dilute mine. I don't like it full strength. My husband uses it full strength. I do not. So this is already diluted. I just wanted to let you know because if it's not diluted, you're going to want to dilute it. So carefully, without making a mess, I'm going to fill it. Let me put the cap back on the mouthwash. I'm going to fill it with the mouthwash. Remember, this is 50-50. So I would have gone 50% mouthwash, 50% distilled water, but it's already pre-mixed for me. Then, I'm gonna add a drop of peppermint. One drop will do ya. Put the top on. I like this before I go into workout because it's got peppermint in it. And peppermint's a really good um, workout enhancer. So I like it sprayed in my mouth. Let's see, fresh breath. So you just mix it up and spray it in your mouth. I love it. I like the mouthwash. Um, the peppermint's not as strong, but your breath is like instantly fresh. So 50% mouthwash, 50% water, one drop of peppermint, and this is about one mil. 
Um, I think I got these on Amazon. They come in a package of six with different colored tops. So there's mouthwash, or not mouthwash, breath, fresh breath, breath fresh, whatever you want to call it. Okay, face serums is what I'm gonna talk about next. I call this one the Angel Serum. And this is used every night. And let me take that. It's a 15 mil bottle with a dropper in it. And this one's not quite full, it's like a third full. So I'll tell you what would normally, you know, I shouldn't say that I'm going to tell you what I normally put in there because um, I just put in what I like. So a given into this 15, or 15 milliliter bottle, a given for sure is about 20 drops of frankincense. Nothing better for your face than Young Living's frankincense. The uh, next one that's a given at all times that goes in here is 20 drops of lavender, another skincare oil that I think is just necessary. Oops, let me see, I got another lavender. This one's going empty on me. Okay, there we go. The next product that always, always, always goes in here is myrrh. Remember I told you I was gonna talk a little bit more about myrrh? It goes back to a resin super fast, super fast. So you see how dark the top this of the, the orifice is? That's because of the resin that's reforming already with myrrh. Normally, I would have a dropper in here, but I'm out of my extra droppers. So what I'll do is I'm only going to add five of this five drops of myrrh to this. And it's gonna be super hard to come out because it's got that, I'm sure the top is already, um, yeah, it's, look at how dark that is. So it's the resin reforming. So the droppers are perfect. Okay, so what I do, is, first of all, I'm gonna take any excess and put it on my body. <laughs> um, I do not have V6 sitting here, so I'm just gonna use the, what, Orthosport. What I do is I put some on my finger and I rub it around the outer rim of the myrrh. And, and I load my, yeah, see, it's already pulling. I can feel the resin in my fingers. Let me clean that out. But what that does is it helps to stop the resin from forming. Plus, if you don't use your myrrh often enough, it will come, it will, the resin will make the bottle seal shut and it's harder than heck to get it open so what you'd have to do is you could soak it in hot water and eventually the resin will soften back up but to keep this so that every time i go to use it i'm not fighting that hardened resin i will put v6 around it make sure the orifice has v6 on it before i seal it back up and it just makes it so much easier to come back and it's interesting because 
Frankincense is also a resin, but it doesn't do what myrrh does when it comes to, you know, the bottle form. Okay, so those three oils are a given. Well, no, so is this. I always add a drop of rose. You notice I've got a dropper in this one. <laughs> Because that's expensive. So all I'll do is add one drop of rose to that. So I've got frankincense, lavender, myrrh, and rose. Those are the four oils that at all times are in this mix. From there, that's where it's just what kept gets my fancy that day or on a whim, I'll start adding a variety of oils on top of this. And I'll only add maybe three to five drops of a couple different oils. And here are um, some I would highly recommend. If you've got, um, if your skin's irritated, Melrose is a really, really good oil to add. So you have the option of Melrose, Myrtle. If you have upper respiratory issues, Myrtle's a really good one to add to this serum because it's gonna keep all of your passages open. So Myrrh's a good choice. Um, you can never have enough sandalwood. Sandalwood's like frankincense, it's just always amazing for your skin. Cedarwood is a really good oil to put in. This is our most reasonable oil in all of Young Living is cedarwood and the constituents of this is fabulous. I don't think other than lavender, there's an oil that does as much as lavender and cedarwood do. Another one, if you have um, skin issues like acne or um, keeping your blemishes under control, tea tree. Add tea tree. But if you open up your blue book, you would be amazed at how many of the oils are so good for your skin. So just kind of make a choice. Um, like I said, I change it from time to time. But the base I gave you, those are always in there. So to this one, I'm going to add sandalwood, maybe. It's in there. It's got to take the top off. I get, like I said, I get impatient. Okay. Sandalwood. And... See, I think I'll do Melrose this time. Melrose just seems like it'd be a good one. So I'm gonna do Melrose. To that, I am going to add rose hip oil. This is organic rose hip oil. And these blue bottles, it's hard to see, but I'll add that. The other thing I add to this every time is one drop of vitamin E. Vitamin E is really, really good for our skin. So I'm gonna add a drop of vitamin E. I'm gonna put the top back on. It's ready to roll. So how I use this is I'm gonna show you, cause I'm gonna give you a second option. This goes on every morning. This is what goes on before I go into Orange Theory to work out, this is on my face. And um, it does a lot for your complexion. It's a really, really good mix. So the other one is the Glow Face Serum. This one has blue tansy in it. You know I like blue tansy. So this one is definitely blue. 
and I'm gonna, sh this one goes on at night. The other one goes on in the morning. This one goes on at night. So I put about three drops in my palm. I rub my palms together and all I do is rub it on my face. And you can see it's a little blue, but once it soaks in, I just love this. So what the glow serum is, is a whole different combination of oils. So into a 15 mil bottle goes 13 drops of blue tansy. Remember, I just am in love with the deep blue color. This again, any new member that comes in this month, I give them a sample roller bottle of this, a uh, two mil roller bottle of this. Next, you can add 13 drops of frankincense, but because we've got blue tansy in there, I add 13 drops of a lemon eye. Why? This is, it's from the same family as frankincense, but it's, and it's called the poor man's frankincense. So because there's blue tansy in there, I add a lemon eye instead of frankincense. 13 drops of frankincense or a lemon eye. Then geranium, really good for your skin, guys. And it's also super good for um, any healing. If you need to heal something on your skin, you know how peppermint and lavender is really good if you've been in the sun too long. If you add geranium to that, it's super, super good for healing on your skin. So geranium, uh, 13 drops of geranium. And seven drops of patchouli. Patchouli is really good for chapped skin and it's just really hydrating for your skin. So this is why this one's at night because it's got a lot of hydration going into it. So patchouli, there are uh, seven drops of patchouli, then three drops of sandalwood. And if you've got it, add a drop of rose. To that, again, I just add the rose hip oil. I like rose hip oil on my face. That's my preference, but you can use what you want. But I prefer um, the rose hip. So that was 13 drops of blue tansy, 13 drops of frank, 13 drops of geranium, seven drops of patchouli, or hey, use Manuka. Manuka is also, by the way, a very, very good skin oil. Three drops of Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, and then a drop of rose. If you've got rose, fill the remainder of the bottle, remainder of the bottle with rose hip, and just shake it. And I apply this one at night. So those are seriously the products that the mixes. I use absolutely every single day. So they're my most favorites because I find them super effective for what I use them for. And I hope, I don't know, I hope you give some of them a try and see if you like them too. Now, if you're watching this video and you are not a member of Young Living, please get with the person that directed you to this video. They will educate you. They will help you get started with Young Living and use these amazing products. It, the, what they can be used for is just endless, absolutely endless. So get with the person that directed you to the video. Reach out to me should you not have anybody and I will help you find somebody that you can work very easily with as well as follow me on it's barbara cassidy on facebook and we'll keep you um yeah i'm having fun with my facebook page lately so join me there again i'm barbara cassidy and thank you for joining us